What's up everyone and welcome to Sketch Saturday. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Bugs Bunny. For today's lesson, we're using a black 4B pencil. I'm using a side grip using the flat edge of my pencil and start blocking out the basic shape of our character. Starting from the very top, I'm going to sketch out an oval. Working around the left side, across the bottom, up along the right, and back up towards the top. And then from here, we're gonna place a half circle on top of that oval. Starting over on the left, go up towards the top, rounding out the top of the head, and then pulling that back down on the right side. Now our character is gonna be looking over towards the left side. So let's add a guideline, starting from the very top. I'm just gonna bend this out towards the left, come down and back in towards the center of that oval. And now we're going to place the ears on top of the head. Let's start on the left side. Start with a straight angle line going all the way up towards the tip. Go to the right side and draw another angle line going up. Now let's add some shape to the ears. Starting from the very top, I'm just going to work on the left side. Coming straight down and then just pulling that back in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then in. Now let's thicken up the right side. Starting from the tip, I'm just gonna start by bending this down and out on both sides. I'm gonna round up the side and then just pull that down on top of the head. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the body. Underneath the head, we're gonna step over towards the left. Start with a straight line coming down towards the base of the neck. Now from here, we're just gonna round up the body, going out and then just pulling that down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top, move over towards the right, angle down and in. Now the back of the body is gonna come down, bend that out towards the back, and then we'll connect the ends with a curve, almost like a half circle. Now the legs are gonna sit along the bottom edge of this curve. So let's start on the left side, Angle this down and out. Move over towards the right. Come down towards the same height. And now we're gonna lightly sketch a small circle along the base of the ankle. Start with the left side. Start with that first circle. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom of that circle, we're gonna draw the bottom edge of the foot. Starting on the left, curve this down, and just bend that up towards the toes. From the outside, we're going to draw a half circle. We're going to go up, just pull that down towards the bottom of the foot. Now we want to move back up and bend the arms in towards the hip. Let's start from the base of the neck on the left side, and go down and out towards the elbow, and then we'll sketch a small circle. Let's go over towards the right side of the neck, and down towards the right. And again, just adding that small circle. Now from the bottom of that circle, we're gonna sketch a line coming in towards the body on both sides. Now the one on the right is gonna overlap the body. And again, we're gonna draw that same size circle along the base of the wrist. Now from here, we're gonna block out the sides of the hands. Let's start on the left side of that circle, angle down and out, go to the right side, just gonna flare this out so it gets a little bit wider. Connect the ends with a straight angled line. Let's go to the outside left circle, draw a straight line coming down, and then come straight in towards the side of the body. Now that we laid out the basic pose of our character, we're gonna add some shape to the limbs. Let's start from the inside of the left leg, step in, just gonna curve the leg going in, then down towards the outside of that circle, Go over towards the right side, come down and out. Now we want to draw on the outside leg. We're going to step out, come down, and then just bend that out towards the bottom of the leg. And then from the right side, I'm just going to round this out and then come down towards the bottom. 
Now we're gonna layer the top of the foot in behind the toes. So we're gonna start on the inside, curl the foot coming in and then up towards the ankle on both sides. Now let's thicken up the arms. We're gonna start from the top, curl the arm going out and then down towards the outside of the elbow. And the same thing on the right. And then from the elbow, curl this down and in towards that bottom circle. Let's work our way along the inside of the arm. Start from the top, curve out and up. And from here, curve up and in towards the side of the body. Now that we created some volume, let's go back to the head and add a second level of detail. We're gonna start right in the center of the head. We're gonna curve this up and out towards the side. Go back to the center, curve up and out towards the right side. Let's block in the mouth. From that center point, we're gonna step down, curve down and up towards the left and right. And from the ends, curve up and out. Let's add in the teeth. From the bottom of those curves, angle down and over towards the right. Flatten off the bottom with a straight line. And we'll go back up and block in the eyes. Starting from the left cheek, curve the left eye coming in and back out towards the side of the head. Go over towards the right side, curve this up and across. Round out the top of the eye, come down and then in on top of the cheek. Let's add that patch across the center of the body. We start underneath the head, curve across towards the left. Just follow the curve of the body going out, round at the bottom, and then come down towards the inside of the right leg. Now at this stage, we're gonna step back and take a look at the general proportions of our drawing. Once we're happy, we're gonna go with the tip of our pencil and start adding some detail. Let's start with the tip of the nose. Start with an upside down triangle. and just work our way across the top of the cheeks. I'm just gonna add a little bit of fur texture along the side of the cheek. So adding a couple points. And just coming in towards the base of the chin. I'm just gonna pull the right side in towards this trim. I'm just adding a small oval on the bottom for the people, and then just filling that in black. I'm just adding a thick fold above each eye, layering this in behind and that fold across the top of the right eye. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of hair on the top, just bending these out towards the left. I'm just tracing the ears along the inside.
And then just placing that thick cuff around the wrist. And we'll start detailing out the hand, starting with the inside. Now along the end, we're just going to separate the toes. So we're going to go about halfway around the toe and pull that in. And then we'll overlap the second toe in behind. Just pulling that down towards the bottom. And then we'll just pull this across and up towards the heel. I'm just going to add three toes on the right side. I'm going in with the side edge of my pencil, adding a light shade across the skin tone, across the gray areas. Just working our way around the eyes and the cheeks. And across the arms and legs. Now we can take this a step further by adding a little bit of shadow, a little darker shadow across the bottom of the body. So cast the highlight along the top and shadow along the bottom. And we're just fading that out as we go up. And this will help give a little bit more shape to our character. And casting a shadow from the arm across the back of the body. from the head across the top of the neck.
And as we get near the end, I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow across the white areas of the body to give a little bit more shape. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Bugs Bunny. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.